திங்களோடும் செழும் பருதி தன்னோடும் விண்ணோடும் உடுக்களோடும் மங்கு கடல் இவற்றோடும் பிறந்த தமிழுடன் பிறந்தோம் நாங்கள் தமிழுடன் பிறந்தோம் நாங்கள் எங்கள் வாழ்வும் எங்கள் வளமும் மங்காத தமிழ் என்று சங்கே முழங்கு அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் குட் ஈவினிங் குட் மார்னிங் குட் ஆஃப்டர்நூன் டு எவ்ரி ஒன் ஹூ ஹஸ் ஜாயின் அஸ் ஃபார் திஸ் இன்ட்ரடக்டரி செஷன் ஆஃப் த ஒர்க் ஷாப் on the ground breaking book journey of a civilization in dust to vaigai it's a joint initiative of fetna and ata i'm omar ram kumar and i'll be your M mc today uh this will be our second workshop open to a wider audience after a very successful first workshop that was specifically designed for tamil mm. youngsters i once again welcome one and all so i would like to call upon ata oh. president tiradinakar karupachami to welcome everyone from a on ata behalf and give the inaugural address to this workshop anaivarkum vanakkam america tamil kelvi kalagam vada america tamil peraviyudan inaindu inda oru karuthragai sirappana murayil nadathikondirukirathu so miga inda nigalchi miga sirappaga nadaipettukondirukirathu inda vada america tamil peraviyum america tamil kelvi kalagavum inaindu nadathikondirukkindra inda nigalchi neengal anaivariyum mainigar valiyil sandhippadil mikka magilchi adigiren அமெரிக்க தமிழ் கல்வி கழகத்தை பற்றி உங்களை நீங்கள் அறிந்திருப்பீர்கள் கிட்டத்தட்ட பத்தாயிரம் மாணவர்கள் முப்பதுக்கு மேற்பட்ட நம் மாநிலங்களில் தமிழ் பள்ளி தமிழ் பள்ளிகள் நம்மளுடைய இணைந்த பள்ளிகள் நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கின்றன அது மட்டுமின்றி தமிழ் சங்க பேரவை மற்றும் பல்வேறு பல்கலைக்கழகங்களுடன் இணைந்து பல்வேறு நிகழ்ச்சிகளை இருக்கிறது அந்த அடிப்படையில் இதுவும் ஒரு மிகச்சிறந்த நிகழ்ச்சி இன்று நமது ஜெர்னி ஆப் சிவிலைசேஷன் புத்தகத்தை பற்றியான கருத்துரை நடந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறது இந்த இது ஒரு மிக சிறப்பான புத்தகம் அந்த புத்தகம் ஒரு தனிநபர்கள் படிப்பது மட்டும் போதாது அதை ஒரு ஒத்த கருத்து உடையவர்களுடன் ஆர்வம் உடையவர்களுடன் கலந்துரையாடி கலந்துரையாடுகின்ற பொழுது அந்த அந்த கருத்து பரவுவதற்கும் அது தொடர்பான ஆய்வுகள் தொடர்ந்து நடைபெறுவதற்கும் ஒரு மிகச்சிறிய பொருளாக அமையும் அந்த அடிப்படையில் நம்மளுடைய குழுவானது இன்று மிக சிறப்பாக நிகழ்ச்சி ஒருங்கிணைந்திருக்கிறது அரச அரசையா அவர்களுடைய கல்வி உமா அவர்களாக தொகுத்து வழங்கிக் கொண்டிருக்கிறார் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி அமெரிக்க தமிழ் கல்விக் கழகத்தில் இருந்திருக்கிறீர்கள் நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு இணைந்திருக்கிற அனைவரையும் பேரவையின் சார்பாகவும் அமெரிக்க தமிழ் கல்வி கழகத்தின் சார்பாகவும் வருக வருக என்று வரவேற்கிறேன் மேலும் இந்த நிகழ்ச்சி சிறப்பாக நடைபெறும் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கங்க வட அமெரிக்க தமிழ் சங்க சங்க பேரவையின் சார்பாகவும் அமெரிக்க தமிழ் கல்வி கழகத்தின் சார்பாக உங்கள் அனைவரையும் வரவேற்பதில் மகிழ்ச்சி அடைகிறேன் வெல்கம் ஒன் அண்ட் ஆல் ஃபார் தி செகண்ட் ஸ்டடி சர்க்கிள் ஆர் ஸ்டடி கோர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஜேர்னி ஆஃப் சிவிலைசேஷன் பை ஆர் பாலகிருஷ்ணன் ஐஏஎஸ் ஸோ திஸ் ஹஸ் பீன் அ ட்ரீம் கம் ட்ரூ ஃபார் தமிழ்ஸ் இன் ஜென்ரல் அண்ட் ஆர்கியாலஜிஸ் இன் பர்டிகுலர் எ புக் ஹஸ் பீன் ரிட்டன் தட் டிஸ்கிரைப்ஸ் how the civilization was uh, originally founded in the harappan area and how people have traveled not only they traveled when they travel they have taken with them the place names and uh, what the kind of uh, things they have seen the animals they have seen all those things and they put that in writing later on in the sangha padalgal so what mr r balakrishnan has captured here is not just the history of tamils or the history of the harappan people but the history of the human race itself because this is a unique opportunity for all of us to not only learn about the journey of civilization but there will be a lot of uh, study materials that will be available uh, which you can follow through to find out where you can get more information because everything that is given in that book when i first read that book i was just floored by the amount of details that he has given and this was done by one this book could not have been written by one person that is the thought that kept 
coming to me over and over again. But once you meet uh, Mr. R. Balakrishnan in person, you can really figure out that, yes, if anybody can write it, he can write it. And today we have, not, not today, in, during this course, we will have with us Mr. R. Balakrishnan. So this whole idea of this course is germ germinated in Dr. Arasu a very good friend of mine. I call him Anand from uh, my St. Louis days. And he germinated in his mind. And he found this uh, concept that every Tamil should read this and then explain this to their coworkers and others in, in North America. Now that concept is uh, going into our homeland itself. And his idea was that as we learn more about ourselves, the pride will automatically come rather than just saying, rather than asserting that we are so-and-so, we can now talk with the data and we can now talk with information and talk with knowledge at the end. So that is the idea behind Dr. Arzu uh, uh, original plan of making this study circle uh, available to everybody. And after the first study circle, which was uh, which finished last spring, the spring, we had tremendous response from youngsters, kids from uh, eighth grade all the way till uh, 12th grade, they participated in it and we honored them in the New York uh, convention, 35th annual convention. Now, this has expanded to almost all adults. Anybody can come in because the, the pride of being Tamil is not just a tailor made for the next generation. It is for our generation itself. As people have uh, over and over uh, stated, we are at a singular point in history that the Tamil civilization is under attack, that the way of Tamil life is under attack and Tamil language itself is coming under attack. And just by reading this book, just by internalizing this book, just by getting the concepts right, what it is uh, said in this book, we are going to blaze a new path and nobody can question us. No, nobody will be able to debate with us, with the data, what we are about. We will be able to stand toe to toe with anyone after reading this book. We, we will be able to stand toe to toe with anyone on matters of our origin, on matters of origin of Indian people, on matters of origin of civilization itself in the whole of India. That gives me a lot of pride and it, could be, it will give you a lot of pride at the end of this course. And that was Dr. Arsa Chalaya's dream. And I thank uh, Ms., Mrs. Uma and uh, Rahul and the ATA, uh, ATA presidents and also all the other uh, volunteers who are making this happen. And finally, I thank you for taking time to come and participate in this and taking advantage of listening to this, reading this and hearing from the author itself. Ungal anevarukkum, meendum en nandri therivitthu kolhiren. In the vahupil nengal kalandu kolhvadu, ungalukkum attu malla, tamil inatthirukke nengal sayyum sevay en badai enru marandu vidu adirikal. Adhe naam kudu thodan suluvam, idu uru siriya thipuri, adhe uru thipandamaha maruvadu, ungal kayil dhaan irukkarudu. Thodarandu paya nengal, naam velvadu uruthi. Vaipukku nandri, manakam. Mikka Nandri Bala, that was a really wonderful, inspiring inaugural speech for this workshop. Um, I, you have uh, clearly explained like why this is an important book that we must read at this juncture. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Bala sir. Um, now I would like to call upon former ATA president Tirikaru Manika Vasagam sir to please introduce the organizing committee and also uh, coordinate the self-introduction of the participants. I'm so glad to be part of this journey. Um, Ms., uh, uh, Mr. Dinagar and Ms. Bala has said everything. I don't have to repeat it. This is a great opportunity each and every one that to know the identity of each and every, um, I mean, uh, Tamil people. So um, this will be a good uh, opportunity to know where we are from, what is our origin and all those things. So the book is, I would say that this is the treasury of a um, Tamil uh, person. So 
uh, I came to know that uh, author Mr. Balagishman has written this book just for the reference purpose and uh, keep it in the library. But fortunately, it has been uh, released thousands and thousands of books among the people. So uh, it's so uh, happy to hear that. Um, I, I'm sure uh, nowadays um, every people will uh, have a chance to uh, read this book and uh, uh, knowing more and more about our incest, uh, and, and culture, and language and all other things. But I'm so glad. Let me come to that uh, introduction part. Uh, I'm so happy to introduce our committee members. Uh, first, first of all, our uh, coordinator, Mr. Arasu Chalaya. Uh, he's the coordinator of this workshop um, and also a founding president of ATA and the former president of PETNA. And he's one of the uh, main person among uh, US um, Tamil patrons. So um, uh, I don't have to uh, explain more because most of us might have known uh, him a lot. Uh, thanks. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And other members, uh, uh, Bala Swaminathan, uh, he just addressed our uh, FETNA president, uh, former secretary of the FETNA, and uh, uh, New York Tomit Sangam advisor. Also, I came to know that he has published uh, um, earlier that a uh, list of names uh, for ch uh, children in Tamil. So uh, that's a good initiative by him for a long time back. Um, Dadagar Karpuchami uh, is uh, ATA president and uh, he has served in Austin Tamil Chengam. Now he's in uh, Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. And next, Mr. Gopi Krishnan. Uh, he's the main person who is uh, receiving this book and distributed all over uh, the place in the United States. So um, thank you, uh, Gopi, sir. Uh, and also, uh, he's presenting sometimes in this workshop journey. Uh, well, Mrs. Uh, Umar Ram uh, is the uh, MC of this uh, program. Uh, he's a, he volunteered in various um, initiatives in Petna, as well as um, New York Tamil Changam and New York Tamil Academy. Uh, welcome. Uh, thanks, uh, Umar Ram. And uh, Rahu, uh, Rahul Manoharan is an active member of Petna Youth Committee. Uh, he's a very, very uh, um, active person. And he was the, one of the presenter in our uh, last workshop uh, for those students. So he served, uh, uh, yeah, uh, in many uh, activities. Um, thank you, uh, Rabu. And uh, myself, just, um, I was the, um, I mean, I'm the former president of ATA and uh, uh, one of the initiator in Houston Elementary Schools. Um, so um, now I'd like to um, uh, call upon each and everyone to introduce the participants. And let me call you in, uh, a name uh, so that uh, you can just say your name as well as um, uh, your location and uh, what uh, the purpose of, uh, I mean, the interest of this uh, joining this session. That's it. Uh, let me call, uh, just uh, please uh, make it short quickly because we have a uh, short time to finish up everything. Uh, let me call first um, Ananta Krishnan. Uh, please uh, make yourself unmute and say a few words about you. Mr. Ananta Krishnan. Vanakamga. Let me give me one second. Vanakamga, Nipir Ananta Krishnan. Washington metro area. Washington area over at least over there. Information gather I am really interested in ancient paleoanthropology and the evolution of mankind all the way down to present day the growth of human human life and uh, what's going to happen to our future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Zulfi, I have seen the name Zulfi. Ziyu, uh, yeah. Vanakam, you know, the pair Zulfi Kar, and now and I am joining from Nashville, uh, Tennessee. Uh, I'm here to learn and understand. Um, uh, that's my objective. Sure, thank, 
uh, please unmute. You're talking, yeah. Manakam Anaivarukam. In today's prayer, Vijay Janakraman, a cardiologist just retired and moved to Washington area, Ashburn. And I have read this book a little bit, so it is too much to read and learn. So I thought I will sit and listen to the other people. That's my purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Quite the good. Sure. Um, Manjal Pitraya. In the Nul Vande, Dr. Sisalaya, Kurte, Anga Ponante. வணக்கம் I was I heard a lot of good things about it I'm, I we bought the book and I wanted to learn more about it that I'm interested in history and I'm really looking forward to it um so garki kumarishan vanakkam uh, en per garki the california bay area la kadanda 10 varsham a irken my first introduction of this book came when our honorable tamil nadu cm stalin gifted this book to mrs sonia gandhi last year so since then uh, i'm attempting to study the book and i take this as an opportunity and i'm glad to part of this study group and i'm approaching this as an ardent student of humanism thank you so much mr manohar ram sami um okay uh, manohar uh, ram sami uh, federal area கிட்டத்தட்ட ஒரு இருபது வருடங்களாக இங்கே இருக்கேன் அதுக்கு முன்னாடி ஒஹயோ பாஸ்டன் போன சென்ற வருடம் அரசன் கண்டிப்பாக இந்த கோபி அவங்க பாலா வந்து ஒரு யூத் குரூப்பை வந்து ஒரு ஹயர் பண்ணிச்சிருக்காரு கிட்டத்தட்ட ராகுல் வந்து ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் சீனிங் ரீடிங் லாட் ஒரு ஐநூத்தி இருபத்தஞ்சு பக்கம் புக்கு வரைக்கும் ஒரு நிறைய பேர் படிச்சது கிடையாது இதை சீரியஸாக படிச்சிருக்காங்க வானொலியில பேசிருக்கிறேன் காலேஜ்ல முத்தமிழ் மன்றத்துல இருந்திருக்கிறேன் when when i saw you know the cousin sister she lives in uh, uh, new york avanga patna la irukanga vasanth and uma avanga veetukku perunum bodhu they talked about it and that really piqued my interest so i wanted to understand in a much more structured way so that we can uh, you know talk about it or matha matu poi pagirndukiradhukku inno konjam fact fulla pagirndukonu nu enak oru aasa so adanalai i am very much excited and i am also an ardent student and here to learn thank you josh thank you so much um manik raj rajendran mr manik raj kare em per manik rajendran i used to live in new jersey or 33 varshath munadi vandom ipo atlanta la irukren or kadanda or 10 varshama i had the good fortune to be in chennai ala bala sir sundar sir ellarume nalla friends aayitom so and the 10 varsha journey na inge irundhu innu konjam continue pananum paakuren adanalla vandiruken yeah sure you will have a good time in the journey and um, this is uh, sivani badmaraja vanakkam naan yalpanathil irundhu pulambeyendu cincinnati ohio la vasithukondirukiren vaithyar academy aatugiren um verkalai thedum en thedalil idu oru thadam endru naan ninaikiren nandri vanakkam kandipaga serappana thedalaga amiyum வணக்கம் நான் பாமா சென்னையில இருந்து கலந்துக்கிறேன் நான் வந்து குவால்கான் ஒரு நிறுவனத்துக்கு பணியாற்றிட்டு வரேன் அதோட சேர்ந்து தமிழ் மர பறக்கட்டளையிலையும் என்னால முடிஞ்ச பணிகளையும் செஞ்சுட்டு வரேன் இந்த புக்கு வந்து தனியா ரீட் பண்ணா நமக்குள்ளதான் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் இருக்கும் ஆனா ஒரு டிஸ்கஷன் போரமா இது அமையும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் அந்த டிஸ்கஷன் போரம் வழியா நிறைய இதனுடைய ஆழமான கருத்துக்களை வந்து அறிஞ்சிக்க முடியும் அப்படின்றதுக்காண்டி இந்த குரூப்ல ஜாயின் பண்ணிருக்கேன் நன்றி 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 உமா பன்னீர்செல்வம் 
அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் நான் உமா பன்னீர்செல்வம் டாலஸ் டெக்ஸஸ்ல இருந்து திரு பாலகிருஷ்ணன் ஐயா அவர்களுடைய அந்த ஜேர்னி ஆஃப் சிவிலைசேஷன் புக்கை எடுத்து பண்றதுங்கிறதே ஒரு இட்ஸ் அ ஹர்கோலியன் டாஸ்க் அதுக்காக முதல்ல அரச செல்லையா ஐயா அவர்களுக்கும் திரு கருவ ஐயா அவர்களுக்கும் நன்றியை தெரிவிச்சுக்கிறேன் நாங்க நாங்க மெட்ரோபிளக்ஸ் தமிழ் சங்கம் வழியா நிறைய இந்த மாதிரி ஐயாவுடைய புத்தகங்களை எடுத்து புத்தகத்தை எடுத்து அதுல இருந்து விரிவான நிறைய செய்திகளை நாங்க கொண்டு சேர்த்துட்டு இருக்கோம் ஆனா இது குழந்தைங்களுக்கும் முக்கியமா கல்லூரி பருவத்துல இருக்க குழந்தைங்களுக்கும் இந்த தமிழ் சமூகத்தின் இந்த அடையாளத்தை வந்து தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்காக தமிழன் எங்கெங்கெல்லாம் பறந்து விரிஞ்சு கிடக்கான் அவனு எவ்வளவு அவனுடைய மகத்தான பணிகள் வெற்றியை செஞ்சிருக்காங்க அப்படிங்கிறத தெரிஞ்சுக்கிறதுக்கு இது ஒரு திறவுகோளா இருக்கும் ஐயாவுடைய புத்தகம் இது நம்ம மட்டுமே நம்மளோட படிச்சுட்டு வச்சுக்க கூடாது இது எல்லாருக்கும் சென்று பயனுள்ள வகையில எல்லாருக்கும் அமையணும் அப்படிங்கிறதுக்காக ஃபெட்னாவும் ஏடிஐவும் சேர்ந்து எடுத்த இந்த பெரும் முயற்சியில என்னாலான ஒரு சிறிய பங்களிப்பையும் கொடுக்கலாம் நானும் ஒரு ஒரு பகுதியை எடுத்து இத இந்த நிகழ்வுல கலந்துக்கலாம் அப்படிங்கிறதுக்காக தான் நான் வந்திருக்கேன் மிக்க நன்றி ஐயா அரசு ஐயா அவர்களுக்கும் என்னுடைய வணக்கத்தை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் சிறப்புமா நீங்க சொன்ன மாதிரி மாணாக்கர்களுக்கான முதல் ஒரு பயிற்சி பட்டறையும் சிறப்பாக நடந்து தெரியுது பதினோரு மாணாக்கர்கள் பங்கேற்று சான்றிதழ் பெற்றிருக்கிறார்கள் தொடர்ந்து நாம் இது போன்ற நிகழ்வுகளை முன்னெடுப்போம் நன்றி கோபி நான் தாங்க வணக்கம் கோபி சொல்லுங்க கோபி உங்களை பத்தி சொல்லுங்க நீங்க நம்மளுடைய எனக்குங்க <laughs> Thank you, Gopi. Thank you. Next, uh, Kallor Kadir. Manakkam, Aya. Manakkam. I'm Kallor Kadir in Manavi Sri Vidya. I'm going to be in Houston, Texas, and I'm going to be in Tamil. So, Tamil is a big deal. Actually, I'm going to be in the same place. 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 But I don't have to be in the same place. ஸோ எங்களை பொறுத்த வரைக்கும் நானும் சரி என் மனைவியும் சரி எங்கெங்கெல்லாம் சரித்திரம் தமிழ் சான்ற சரித்திரம் இலக்கியம் சரி அதை தேடி படிப்போம் ஆனா அப்படி படிக்கிறதுல என்ன ஆயிடுச்சு அப்படின்னா ஒரே கருத்து வேற வேற முகங்களா நம்மளுக்கு தெரியுது அது வந்து ஒரு மாயாவே கிரியேட் ஆயிருது ஸோ நம்ம இலங்கையில இருந்து வந்தமானு தெரியல மேல இருந்து வந்தமானு தெரியல ஸோ அதை வந்து எங்க வந்து விரிவா ஒரு ஆரோக்கியமான ஒரு விளையாட்டு எல்லாம் கொண்டு போய் நம்மளுக்கு ஒரு தெளிவு கிடைக்கும்னு நாங்க இன்னும் தேடிட்டு தான் இருக்கோம் ஸோ இப்ப இந்த இது மூலமா எங்களுக்கு கொஞ்சம் தெளிவு கிடைக்கும்னு நான் எதிர்பார்க்கிறேன் இன்னைக்குதான் சொன்னாங்க மனைவி அதனால நான் உட்காந்துட்டேன் நானு கண்டிப்பா இதை கேட்கணும் இதை பத்தி தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் அப்படின்ட்டு சோ இது ஒரு ஆரோக்கியமான உரையாடலா இருக்கும் நான் நம்புறேன் சில தெளிவுகள் எங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும்னு நான் நம்புறேன் கண்டிப்பாக கண்டிப்பாக அது உரையில் கிடைக்கும் உங்களுக்கு புதிய விடைகள் இந்த புத்தகத்தில் ஏற்கனவே இடம்பெற்றிருக்கின்றன அதை இந்த பயிற்சி பற்றி விளக்கமாக எடுத்து வைக்கும் நன்றி பாலாஜி வணக்கங்க என் பேர் குமார் நான் வர்ஜினியா இருக்கிறேங்க இந்த புத்தகத்தை வந்து அங்கங்க படிச்சிருக்கிறேன் நானு பட் நிறைய பேச்சு கேட்டிருக்கேன் புக்கையும் பார்த்து அவங்களோட கலந்து உரையாடுறதுல வந்து நான் பங்கெடுத்தோம் மகிழ்ச்சி மகிழ்ச்சி ஐயா பிரபாகரன் ஐயா ரத்ன சபாபதி பிரபாகரன் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் என் பேர் வருண் பிரபு சென்னையில இருந்து கலந்துக்கிறேன் நான் ஒரு ஐடி கம்பெனில ஒர்க் பண்ணிட்டு இருக்கேன் பேர்லா எம்ஏ ஹிஸ்டரி படிச்சுட்டு இருக்கேன் நான் இன்னும் இந்த புக்கு படிச்சது இல்லை ஸோ நிறைய எக்ஸ்ப்ளோர் பண்ணிட்டு வந்திருக்கேன் அண்ட் ஒருங்கிணைத்த அனைவருக்கும் முக்கிய நன்றி 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 கோபால் கோபால் கிருஷ்ணன் ஹலோ நான் கோபால் கோபால் கிருஷ்ணன் நான் வந்து டேலஸ்ல 
ஒரு இருபத்தி நாலு வருஷமா இருக்கேன் நான் நான் வந்து பாலகிருஷ்ணா ஐயாவோட உரைய வந்து யூடியூப்ல ரொம்ப தடவை கேட்டிருக்கேன் அந்த புக்கு கோபி கிருஷ்ணாவிட்ட இருந்து வாங்கி நான் படிச்சுட்டு இருக்கேன் ஆஹ் ஒரு சாப்டர் ரெண்டு சாப்டர் தான் படிச்சிருக்கேன் ரொம்ப கான்டென்ட் இருக்கு இது மாதிரி இப்ப உள்ள பங்கேற்று பேசுவதன் மூலம் அந்த புத்தகத்தை சீக்கிரமா படிச்சு முடிக்கலாம் ரொம்ப விஷயம் தெரிஞ்சுக்கலாம் மற்றவங்கள்ட்ட இருந்து கூட அதனால ஸோ இதை அரேஞ்ச் பண்றவங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப நன்றி நானும் மனைவி கீதாவும் இருக்கோம் நாங்க இப்ப இருபது வருஷமா இங்க வாஷிங்டன் வட்டாரத்துல இருக்கிறோம் இதுக்கு முன்னால ஓஹாயில இருந்தோம் என்னுடைய ஆர்வம் எப்போதும் தமிழ் இலக்கியத்துல ஆர்வம் உண்டு இந்த புத்தகம் வந்து கொஞ்ச நாளாவே என்னோட இருக்குது ஆனா அதை படிக்கக்கூடிய வாய்ப்பு இல்லை அதனால இந்த கூட்டத்துல கலந்து கொண்டா பல விஷயங்களை தெரிஞ்சு கொள்ளலாம் எங்கள் நோக்கத்தோட தான் நாங்க வந்திருக்கோம் இந்த கூட்டத்தை நீங்க ஏற்பாடு செய்வதற்கு அரசு பாலயா தினகரன் அனைவருக்கும் என்னுடைய நன்றி இந்த கூட்டத்துல கலந்து கொள்வதற்கு ரொம்ப ஆர்வமாக இருக்க வணக்கம் குருஜா நன்றி ஐயா மிக்க நன்றி அறுவடை நம்பி புகழேந்தி அன்பர்கள் சான்றோர்கள் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் என்னுடைய பெயர் அறிவுடைய நம்பி புகழேந்தி நான் இந்த வாஷிங்டன் வட்டார வட்டாரத்தில இருந்து பேசுறேங்க நான் இப்ப தற்போது வாஷிங்டன் தமிழ் சங்கத்துல வந்து இயக்குனரா இருக்கேன் இதுக்கு முன்னாடி இதனுடைய வாஷிங்டன் வட்டாரத்தினுடைய தென்றல் முல்லை புத்தகத்தினுடைய ஆசிரியரா இரண்டு வருடம் பணியாற்றி வந்தேன் எனக்கு வந்து பாலகிருஷ்ணன் ஐயாவுடைய நிறைய இது வந்து நான் கேட்டிருக்கேன் இந்த தமிழ் ஆர்வம் பொதுவாகவே இருந்துட்டு இருந்தது அதே சமயத்துல இப்ப அரசு செல்லையா அவருடைய இன்ட்ரோ அப்புறம் நாஞ்சில் பீட்டர் ஐயா அவர் கூட நான் சேர்ந்து வேலை பார்த்திருக்கேன் ஸோ இவங்களுடைய ஆர்வம் அந்த அதனுடைய தமிழனுடைய அந்த தேடல் இதெல்லாம் பார்த்து அதுல இன்ஸ்பயர் ஆகி எனக்கும் வந்து தமிழை பத்தி நிறைய தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் என்னோட நண்பர்கள் கிட்ட அதை நான் நிறைய பகிர்ந்துக்கணும் அது நிறைய தெரியாதவங்க நிறைய பேர் இருக்கிறாங்க அதே மாதிரி அடுத்த தலைமுறைக்கு இதை நான் எடுத்து கொண்டு போகணும் அப்படிங்கிற ஒரு இதுல வந்துட்டு ஆஹ் அரசு சிலையா அவர்கள் வந்து அந்த புக் புக் அந்த வாட்ஸ்அப் அவர் புக்ஸ் சொல்லிட்டு ஒரு இது இருக்கு அதுல ஜாயின் பண்ணிட்டு அதுல எனக்கு அவர் ஃபார்வர்ட் பண்ணியிருந்தாரு ஸோ இதுல பங்கெடுத்துக்கிறது ரொம்ப மகிழ்ச்சி நான் லுக்கிங் ஃபார்வர்ட் டு வணக்கம் எல்லாருக்கும் வாழ்த்துகள் என் பேர் திருமாவளவன் நான் புளோரிடா மாகாணத்துல இருந்து சேர்ந்திருக்காங்க திறந்த மனதோடு இந்த புத்தகத்தை எல்லாம் நீங்க படிச்சு எங்களுக்கு கிட சொல்லுவீங்க நம்பிக்கையோட சேர்ந்திருக்கேன் எல்லாருக்கும் வாழ்த்துகள் மகிழ்ச்சியா நம்ம எல்லாரும் கத்துக்கலாம் அந்த எண்ணத்தோட வந்திருக்கேன் நன்றி சிறப்பு சிறப்பு மகிழ்ச்சி அருண் பிரசாத் அர்ஜுனன் வணக்கம் நான் சென்னையிலேருந்து ஜாயின் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் எனக்கு இந்த புக்கை பற்றி நிறைய பேர் சொல்லியிருக்காங்க ஆனால் நான் எனக்கு படிக்கிறதுக்கான டைம் கிடைக்கல ஸோ அதனால எனக்கு இது ட்விட்டர் மூலயமா எனக்கு தெரிய வந்தது இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு மீட்டிங் இருக்குன்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஸோ அதனால நான் ஜாயின் பண்ணியிருக்கேன் நிறைய தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் ஆசைப்படுறேன் கிருஷ்ணன் ஹியூஸ்டன்ல இருக்கேன் நான் சொல்லுங்க சிவில் இன்ஜினியரிங் ப்ரொஃபஸர் பட் நான் தமிழ் ஆர்வலும் தமிழ் மாணவன் உங்களோடு சேர்ந்து தமிழை தமிழுடைய தொன்மையை தெரிந்து கொள்ளலாம் என்ற ஆர்வலில் சேர்ந்திருக்கிறேன் நன்றி ஏற்பாடு செய்ய அனைவருக்கும் நன்றி வணக்கம் நன்றி ஐயா ஐயா அவர்கள் ஹியூஸ்டன் பல ஆண்டுகளாக இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒரு முன்னோடி மகிழ்ச்சி ஆஹ் பாலகிருஷ்ண ஐயா வந்திருக்காங்க வணக்கம் ஐயா ஆஹ் பெரும்பகுதி நம்ம எல்லாரும் அறிமுகப்படுத்தணும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் யாராவது ஒரு இருவர் விடுபட்டிருப்பில் ஐயா வணக்கம் ஐயா வணக்கம் வணக்கம் நன்றிங்க <laughs> ஆர்வத்தையும் <laughs> உங்களோட தேடல் தேடலையும் எல்லாம் கேட்டு எங்களுக்கும் ஆர்வம் வந்து ரெட்டிப்பாயிருக்கு ஸோ ஐ லைக் டு கால் திரு அரசு செல்லையா சார் டு பிளீஸ் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் டு எவ்ரி ஒன் அ ப்ரீஃப் ஃபார்மேட் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஸ்டடி ஒர்க் ஷாப் அண்ட் டேக் இட் ஃபார்வர்ட் நன்றி எங்கள் வாழ்வும் எங்கள் வளமும் மங்காத தமிழ் என்று சங்கே முழங்கு Uh, friends uh, this uh, program is going to be in english mainly because to record it 
and play it for our youngsters who are growing up in this country, as well as those who are not familiar with Tamil, our fellow Indians or um, others. So that's why the format is in English. It is being uh, completely recorded. As uh, it's already mentioned, if you are not speaking, please mute and cooperate. And the format, coming to the format of the book, initially we thought there are 17 chapters. I basically read the book from cover to cover. It is a gold mine. We'll uh, come back to that uh, in a bit. So initially we thought 17 chapters, 17 weeks, plus three, 20 weeks. And even we considered, uh, considered like, do like a semester education kind of a, a situation. And so we will have like at least 30 uh, lectures. And then there are friends we always discuss and make decisions. You know what? Uh, this is a prodigious uh, book. Why don't we uh, just give a taste of it? And that's what uh, we informed uh, through Balakrishnan IAS. And we said we will have an introduction and then a, a conclusion with special speakers. We are introducing ourselves right now. It is happening. And in between the eight modules will consist of selected chapters. And through Balakrishnan, uh, the author and uh, Sundar Ganeshan, the publisher, they discussed and they provided us the uh, eight modules. And uh, that uh, Mr. Gopi uh, Krishnan will, will explain it a little bit later. So coming back to the format again, so these uh, speeches from the next Friday, it, uh, this is going to be, uh, so for example, one uh, talk for 30 minutes or 40 minutes, we are, we are considering it, would be about a chapter or two chapter or three chapter based on the themes that Mr. Uh, through uh, Balakshan provided us. But the point is, um, none of us can completely cover that in 30 minutes or 40 minutes or 50 minutes. That is impossible. So what's going to happen is, I'm sure all of you have the book and some of you in the chat uh, put that you need the book. Hopefully we'll find some answer and we will uh, we will inform you. And uh, this uh, registration process, uh, hopefully we, we all can get registered so that we can exchange our views beyond this uh, um, one and a half hours because everybody is uh, time constrained. So when we finish, we want to finish with everybody here. So please don't uh, um, don't slip off. We will try to finish on uh, time. And so all of you here are very significant people. Most of us from North America, uh, India, uh, Dubai, uh, probably uh, uh, Canada. All of you, I know, many of you know, University professors, Patna presidents, ATA presidents, Tamil school, uh, Tamil Sangam president, Sangam, Sangam office bearers, Tamil school teachers, coordinators, and those who deeply study Sangam literature, deeply study Indus Valley Civilization. So they're very, very significant people. And those who are very, even though they have not read this uh, uh, book, uh, with, with very big thirst to learn. And what I can say is this, this, this is the scientific outlook here. Since I read the whole book, Mr. Balakrishnan will give, um, approach this scientifically and provide uh, these are the options. Or, and then he will have, say, this is what he thinks. And that kind of a rational approach, scientific approach is what attracted uh, this book to me. And he's uh, uh, MA Tamil English literature, but his English is fantastic. And it is so interesting to read. And, and as far as, again, I want to be very brief, uh, lack of time again, is um, why this book is, the, initially the first uh, study for our youngsters was very eagerly uh, accepted. And uh, this is this book is a multidisciplinary book, okay? So what is multidisciplinary subject itself? So you have archeology, span you have history, you have biology in, in terms of evolution, you have genetics, you have DNA, RNA uh, studies, uh, you have languages, you have comparative literature, uh, you, have, you have philosophy, of course, Sangam literature, you can keep, keep on going. So there are two themes here. One, how come Mr. Balakrishnan, who studied MA Tamil literature, of course, the gold medalist university first rank, went to these subjects, he became an IAS officer and a famous uh, um, uh, Indian officer and presently um, um, advisor to the Orissa CM. We all know that, most of us probably will know that. When he can go into the different subjects and become a master on that and then in, inculcate into this phenomenal book, why not we all can? Of course, we all have our specialization. That's the first theme. Second thing is pass this, because it is in English, it is easier to pass it to our youngsters. 
see our youngsters mostly are coming to like doctors, engineers, computer scientists, and uh, but now why not archaeologists? Why not linguists? Why not uh, historians? So those are all also a possible option, and that's why we we aimed towards our uh, youngsters. And why it is important? One point is this is very important not for us. I think many of you. Uh, very, very significantly contributing for Tamil language, Tamil efforts, said that uh, we want to know about us, about us through this book. And while we do that, there's another reason that I, I'm really particularly passionate about. Bala Swaminathan mentioned, our uh, Dhanakar uh, Karpuchan, ATA president mentioned that it is good for us to discuss. Why is this? Right now, the global crisis, many crises are going on, not just economics, climate crisis, um, atomic <laughs> threat, many things. I think the world is actually craving for some kind of a clear philosophy, ideology. I, I think as uh, uh, envisioned in our Sangam literature, our Thirukkural, I think we can provide that. I think the world will accept it maybe in 20 years, 50 years, I don't know. But this book is immense contribution towards that. So. Uh, please bear with the presenters in the eight modules. Please visit here. Please tell your friends. And each module, the presenter, one or two people, uh, they are experts in specialized fields. So they will present from their point of view. So this book has like a multi multidisciplinary approach. So if I'm a biologist, I will go there. And so please bear with that. And then again, uh, there is nothing concrete, uh, like an uh, iron clan. And Mr. Balakrishnan himself will say that. So if there is something... Uh, scientific uh, new option, new evidence comes, it is going to be uh, included in this. So this is pretty much a short brief uh, uh, description on the um, format of that. Please join the WhatsApp group and share your thoughts. And uh, we all have to make a decision. The committee members, as uh, the American Tamil Academy former president, Karu Manikavasakam said, the, the seven or eight uh, um, committee members are working so hard I cannot even believe that. They have their career, their family. The time they put in to pull this effort is incredible. Sometimes I even wonder, hey, are we doing the right thing as a coordinator? This is such a prodigious book, but it's all falling into place. I think, I don't know, Tamil Dhanai, thanks to Tamil Dhanai or what. But uh, please start reading the book. Uh, I would just start, you know, how I read this whole book is in the morning, I'll have coffee and start at least 30 minutes or 40 minutes and just keep going. Once you get into that, also watch Mr. Balakrishnan's speeches. There are so many, and especially the uh, book release function. Um, that's really fantastic, because both in English and Tamil, and that will make you so, while you are uh, traveling in this uh, nine weeks, please, as much as you possibly can read, the speeches that they are going to be in the eighth module are, are not going to be complete. They may give you a taste of it from the perspective of the presenters, but it is up to us and we will continue that. We will continue to stay. Once this is over, maybe in July, uh, Mr. when Mr. Balakrishnan comes to the United States, we can have lots of Tamil conferences because uh, he can teach us Sangam literature and Tamil. Uh, uh, he has published books. With that, I'll, I'll stop. So let's all study together. Thank you. Thank you, Tirarasa uh, Chalaya, sir. Uh, I would like to also ask you to please introduce our author here, Balakrishnan, sir, uh, who, who needs no introduction, of course, but I would like you to please welcome him and formally introduce him to our uh, study group here. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Uma Rampar. You're doing a fantastic job as an MC. Uh, basically, like I said, I already mentioned uh, about through uh, Balakrishnan, uh, IAS officer, phenomenal IAS officer, a, a gold medalist uh, in my Tamil literature. If you read the book, you will understand about him more. Just one sentence because of the time again, I can talk about him. His uh, books, uh, Sarahu Kalvanam and Iranam Sutra uh, will basically tell about him. We have to study about him. And if you study this book, you will also partly study about uh, him. One thing I will say, and this is not hyperbole. I will keep this book along with Tirukura. That's all. Um, I don't have to say anything more. So this book belongs to alongside Thirukkura, because Tunmayim uh, Todrachim, this not only tells us about where we are coming from, and if we understand that, our future will be good. And with, with that, we also, I, I should say, uh, through Balakrishna IAS, he is an advisor for American Tamil Academy, and his advice, his enthusiastic encouragement really uh, enthused the uh, organizers, 
and uh, prov he is providing us with good resources uh, for the growth and uh, uh, success of American Tamil Academy to teach uh, Tamil language for our uh, students uh, learning in hundreds of Tamil schools as uh, Mr. Dragan Karpuchami says. For that, we, we bow our head to you, sir. Uh, with these words, I invite Guru Balakrishna Yes to talk about the overview of the book and his suggestion how we can read. Thank you. <clears throat> Well, for me, it's a good morning. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, good evening to someone. <coughs> Thank you very much. Uh, first, my apologies for uh, coming a bit late. Uh, I, I had a, a little hectic day yesterday. I uh, got up on this uh, um, the earliest I could appear before you. And um, thank you very much, Mr. Chalaya, Karumanika Vasalam, and uh, some of the name I could see, and uh, Bala Swaminathan, and uh, all other... Uh, Dr. Saravana Bhavan and uh, Umar Ram Kumar and uh, Kumarish and others I have not been able to see. Uh, I think 45 participants, uh, all of you, uh, my uh, vanakkam. Uh, this book actually, uh, I, I would say, I'm a, even now I'm working full-timer. Uh, I would have personally liked uh, uh, after a retirement, uh, completely a time devoted only for my studies and travel around. I have an invitation from many countries and that would have been uh, my personal views. But then uh, as life takes, uh, I, I, I take life as it comes and that has been my approach to life. And then uh, I'm, I'm now, even now full time, uh, if not more busier than when I used to be in actual job as a chief advisor to the chief minister. And then uh, so now again, I'm to the same old game and uh, just spending my early mornings and midnights for my studies and uh, uh, entire office hours for my office work. Then I simultaneously travel in two horses. I, I, I manage that way. Uh, uh, each one of the uh, IAGs contributing to the other one. It's, uh, it's a mutually <laughs> Coming to this book, uh, I am in this particular, uh, whatever time I'm going to take an half an hour or whatever it is, I'm not going to really explain uh, about this book uh, chapter wise what he's going to say. Uh, I would, uh, uh, what actually probably triggered me to this book, to write this book, how I feel now uh, when, uh, when a professor like Mr. Chalaya made a very, very huge statement, which uh, I was not able to even receive uh, uh, fully in the sunset. Uh, that's a great uh, love he fair has for me, uh, but it. Uh, but I am. I, I must tell you that uh, this book is one thing which I never anticipated uh, that it would ultimately emerge at the end of my career. That means uh, spending about um, thirty plus years in Orissa. I would basically, when I retire, I will come out with this book. But there, there were early signs because I started in uh, late eighties itself, nineteen eighty eight itself. On on coming to Orissa itself. I got into this kind of studies, uh, anthropology, tribals. And uh, then from one is leading to other, it became a multidisciplinary study. Uh, as uh, Mr. Chalaya pointed out, it's a, it's a interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary, and a transdisciplinary. It has got a or interconnected word, but not exactly synonym. Uh, that means uh, yeah, understanding in particular one segment of knowledge uh, leading to a better understanding of the another segment of the knowledge as basically you make an interdisciplinary study. It happened that way. Now, holding this book, I, I consider that the best thing that has happened in my life uh, because the, this book uh, happened uh, uh, without any, let me first understand, this book had no agenda. I have no agenda and uh, I have no expectation uh, from this work. Uh, it just happened. Why it happened? Because probably my life took me here and there and life gave me learning. And then I gained nothing out of it because I am not an academician. Uh, I am not going to get my promotion because of that. Nobody is going to appreciate me as a better officer because I have done this book. I have to uh, uh, justify my existence, earn my livelihood and then prove myself as a professional in a different way, different sphere. So then this is a new thing about from which I am not gaining anything. So then it has got an advantage. When, when something is not your job, uh, this is a very, very generic, uh, specific advice I just also want to tell 
what i tell my children i what i want to do in my life is that something other than the livelihood that mean what is your bread and butter some other passion which is nothing to do with your job it keeps you going because that uh, the, my job actually take a complete energy out of me uh, during day time uh, running elections in the country planning for the whole india election moving reserve police uh, lakhs of police from one end to other end where the trade is going on where the observers all the political talking to political leaders handling cyclones handling starvation handling famines that mean it's a handling pandemic corona so these are our responsibilities are different it's a highly stressful and then when i do something unconnected to that and uh, instead of feeling tired i un- unwind myself and then i develop i get more energy by working hard in something else which is not connected with that so in a way it's an you are escaping from your routine routine that mean escape from the routine uh, uh, produced a, a very meaningful outcome it's a double whammy that mean you are you are simultaneously happy that your time is not uh, because for uh, for unwinding oneself one can go to club one can spend time or just some people will be merely reading or some people will be playing go to a golf course and then i chose to read and write and research so this is the way i will tell and second in this book i recently there was a symposium here one of the vice chancellor uh, spoke about this book and brought it first uh, let me tell you even for this uh, 10 weeks and all no one please don't have an ambition of reading this book in one go because you can't do it and even i can't do it and even when i again now take this book and take this weight and start thing i really feel like i will swoon again if i have to write it again i don't know whether i have that kind of energy or the time and whether i will be able to invest that much time in future so that mean one go reading or continuous reading is impossible and then this book after seeing this particular index and the content i would suggest that read the preface and read the uh, what you call the epilog and the final part and then flip through whatever interest then each chapter i think sundar would be explaining it to you is done in such a way that each chapter will stand on its own leg that means somebody is a, a, as he pointed out that has an interest in botany and then he can if he reads the vanni root chapter vanni root uh, how that vanni tree a uh, where how it comes in the indus group indus seal and then how it is important in rajasthan now kejri tree how it is important for the cholas how it is important in the middle east as a national tree how it gets into our uh, ethnography our literature and then becomes a witness for the truth that one tree itself will tell a story that botany or a science student can take it forward uh, and then somebody can study that uh, how is the connectivity imagine the, the, suppose you so i will take it further for the uh, every tribal group in this world uh, be it an uh, africans or indian or south americans or brazilian any anything in the mind everybody start with some kind of nature worship uh, tree worship is a part of it identifying a specific tree which is very totem for a particular group and give respect to that particular specific tree like arasamaram vepamaram alamaram kind of thing give respect to that particular tree protect that tree and then uh, create a sacred grove and from there then um, people move to the terracotta figurines mind the terracotta figurine figurines made of the clay and then and the ter- terracotta our our ancient gods are made of terracotta only even today mariamman kaliamman made of terracotta from there you go to the uh, stone stone statues like a murugan statue come to the chola bronze Uh, like a, like nadraja statue and all then then you do the kind of a, a, those trees are just in the part of the nature the terracotta uh, figurine is made every year it has to be renewed every year that mean that old image will be discarded and whereas the, the bronze image once it is installed in the temple through the kumbhabhishekam or kudamuluk or or the establishing uh, that particular it, thing that particular thing so Yeah. Um, Manavar, uh, sir, please. Thank you. So then, then you like this. Each each chapter has got uh, its own significance. 
uh, depending on uh, in my view uh, bearing except a few uh, anchoring chapters like say uh, where the man came from the dna related studies and then the rest of the thing you do not follow the exact order and let me tell you this book what is trying to tell i will tell you the objective the i had no plan to write this book the book evolved and it happened i am so happy that is the the most significant uh, thing happened in my life which is justify my existence my birth my toily my travel in this country throughout the world uh, whole of india bearing 15 districts i have set my foot and met almost all the tri uh, the tribal groups so this interaction resulted in this book and then at the end of the day after reading this book uh, this book is not a uh, throwing a bravado you you just don't make a, any bombastic claim i'm telling you each one of us love our mother tongue each one of us love our mother each one of us love our family we love our state we love our country and at the end of the day we have to love the human kind mankind to grow and then and then at the end of the day the book does not and should not and i have got a feedback from everybody this book does not create a sense of hatred or a sense of uh, exclusivism and tell that uh, and 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 see my glory at the cost of somebody else that we should never do that the world the global world moving towards say giving respect and taking respect and understand each one has got a significance forget about mankind each each life each organism we we do not know why it is existing why this many species are there in the sea we have not even touch the fringe of it we, we have no idea about this universe uh, we, how insignificant the earth is how insignificant we are the, the, the 70 years or 80 years or 60 years or whatever the life we lose uh, uh, around say an average say about 70 to 80 years is an insignificant nothing with understanding this book should actually in my view should humble us and at the end of the day what this book is trying to bring home it's my own nanny it's not that i one day decided that i will say this in my book it is not a fact i i got a little bit of clarity as i travel and this book takes the three metaphor this is the thrust of this book rather outcome but the book was not written for that purpose you you would understand the difference between i wrote a book to tell a story to a story of a civilization but then i ended up understanding getting this particular take away and i put that take, i take that particular take away i am presenting in the epilog that particular take away is india is not a melting pot for that matter world is not a melting pot normally we have a tendency in a situation like india or america or the state the state, country like uh, like say uh, even united kingdom to some extent many countries where the immigrants and the multicultural uh, multiculturalism very much in vogue people have got a tendency to say melting pot and particularly indians have got a tendency to tell uh, claim themselves as a melting pot very often you must have heard this particular unity in diversity wonder that was india al was some spook and then india is a melting pot immediately say that india is a melting pot unity diversity which is not a fact because this book says that melting pot is not a suitable metaphor because melting pot different metals are put and all actually heated up and then it's melted and then a new alloy is created all old ingredients loses its individual identity a new alloy is created some dominant metal or the good looking metal is going to claim that this alloy is me and that new that particular alloy is going to tell it is me it is not you and then in that particular thing lots of identity is being lost i don't consider india as a melting pot at all and then in the after that in some time i have read it in america there's a new conversation about what is called salad bowl and then people say when you in a multicultural environment people uh, claim that uh, we are a salad bowl and uh, we, we, we there is a there is a salad bowl on the uh, dining table and then the different uh, vegetables are arranged some white some uh, carrot red beetroot green all color and then is not there it's a find its uh, presence in the salad bowl 
we are all part of their particular presence. If you happen to be in America, I am from Africa, I am from India, I am from South India, I am from North India, I am from Mexico, I am from Brazil, I am from China, like that. So each one, everybody is living, it's a salad bowl. And then I am not agreeing for India, that salad bowl uh, concept also. Even for the world also, I am not accepting salad bowl as a metaphor. It does not mean that if I am not accepting, everybody should agree with that idea. It is my view. That means salad bowl is not an exact metaphor, which I would like to basically accept for India, for that matter, many other countries. The reason being to make a presence, uh, then the salad bowl, every vegetable has to write a neat exam. Uh, say it has to pass an exam. It has to be a good looking. Uh, how many people have put the uh, yeah, brinjal in the salad bowl? Or Vendakai, or Surakai, or the Pahakai, or the bitter goat, or any vegetables, or the country vegetable. It has to be a carrot and radish, it has to be a beetroot and onion and this one and that. So then, then the, it has to be organized very nicely. So some kind of it has to be good looking, good color. So somewhere there is a selection process and it's a post harvest. It is not a very natural. Nature is not organizing a salad bowl. A salad bowl is organized in a, in a, uh, not in an organic way. It's a post harvest process. We, our convenience and making it the great. There are many vegetables. There are many people who do not ultimately make it to the salad bowl. So that means salad bowl is a selection process. It's, an, it's a sort of elitism. So then I am not agreeing with that particular metaphor. And finally, I started calling India as a rainforest. The rainforest is a, this book basically trying to say India is a rainforest metaphor. It's a cultural, linguistic, ethnic, uh, every sense of the, every sense of the third, it, 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 as somebody has written, even for a carrot to go into a salad bowl, it has to be a good carrot. Yes, exactly. So it's a, it has to pass a neat exam. It has to look nice and all kind of things. There's an entrance exam for that. And then whereas in the rainforest, I'll tell you, whenever I go to a rainforest, the rainforest occupies my mind. The rainforest is, a, a, in Sangam literature, it talks about the rainforest where the, uh, the, the rays of sunlight, sunlight is not able to penetrate. That means even sun is not able to penetrate that. Such a, such a very thick canopy. And then some kind of moisture all the time. A lot of rain. And then rainforest floor, you will see if you go to the Merkur Todachi Malai and then main South American rainforest, if you see that, uh, you will find that there is always some kind of moisture and then some fungi, some kind of uh, greenish material. And the, and the end, uh, bottom side of the tree, there is a lot of fungi and small worms. And then another level, there is an understory. There is something called understory where the butterflies will be flying. And then there is a, something called canopy. And the uh, understory, then the canopy is something like a what do you call umbrella for the forest. Uh, then, then the uh, then there are a lot of animals will be moving around. The monkey will be jumping. And beyond the canopy, there is something called a overshoot or outburst. That some trees will be just growing further taller. That means that mean that particular uh, outshoot or outburst or the outcrop can be the highest achievement of that particular tree, but it does not fully represent. Uh, it, it is something like a Nobel Prize winner. They, all the people in this world are not Nobel Prize winner, are not the very great successful presidents or the uh, political or the officers or the scientists. So it's an outcrop. But even if he is a Nobel Prize winner, even if it's an outcrop, he is the part of the whole team. He is, uh, his roots are very, very much in the rainforest. So the rainforest uh, is a, there is an independence, there is an interdependence. At a particular layer, one type of species will be there. That species will not go to that layer. Each one is interdependent. There is, a, there is some kind of interdependence and uh, eating each other also can take place in the rainforest, but it does not annihilate. Let keep it in mind that in the forest, uh, the, the what you call the, there are mongol. Mongol never been annihilated as a species by the tigers. That means hunting, hunting animals are never annihilated or be removed from the thing only when they, because they hunt only for the uh, when they are starving. 
Otherwise, when they are not feeling hungry, e each one will be moving together and taking water and all. On, on sight, it's not going to jump. Whereas the humans are not like that. The men, they, they hunt even when they are not hungry. They yearn not only for them, it is for the 10th generation or the another 20th generation. If people make it without even knowing that why they are making it. And people don't even have the count of water. So that way, so that to drive home this particular point, if this book bring it to the table that uh, India, it's a story about India. India is not a melting pot. India is not a salad bowl. India is a rainforest, this book. So to build this particular, only the India is a rainforest, eh, there is a, a motive in a way. In, in, in it. Tamil is all about that. I tell you, 2200 years back, there is one literature which talks, they use the word Yadum Ure Yavarum Kelu. I'm telling you, if, if somebody wants me, tell that uh, your 2200 years of collective experience, collective experience, one line of the civilizational maturity and civilizational understanding, you please steal one line. I will quote this one line. Yadu Mure Yavarum Kelly. You are in America. I am in Orissa. And I came here and learned to Orissa. And I became the cultural secretary. The secretary for the Odia language and literature. I, 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 I am not only really celebrated here as a, as a good, efficient officer, but also as an officer who contributed for the Uriya language and literature. After my retirement, another within 30 minutes of my retirement uh, in, in November 20, 2018, the next program was the release of my Uriya book. The translation of all my research article about the Orissa culture was released. It is already seen three editions, like the exactly like a JOC. So that means why? Because Yadu Mure Yavarim Kelir. I have no head track. I, my body language is like this. So people are actually very good naturally. So that means ultimately Yadu Mure Yavarim Kelir. Look at Trukura. And the kind of language Trukura speaks about it. Then, and then say that what a statement. It's a, it's a huge statement about the equity. It's a huge statement about the distributive justice. The problem about the world world economy is the distributive justice. It's not about the production. It is about the distribution. So that means the literature which talks about the distribution and not having a, then again, again the Sangam literature talks for the last man. I have a philosophy. If I have to stand by somebody, I have to take a call this way or that way. I always ask myself, who, who is the weakest of both two people? I stand by the weakest. I, I, my approach to my job, my approach, my decision-making process has been stand by the side of the last man in the last mile. And if then, then the Sangam literature stand by the last man of the last mile. Even during Sangam literature period, the paddy crop was very famous. Arisi was very famous. But then Sangam literature tells the four list. If you ask me what is the four important crops, I will tell Tinai, Varahi, Avarai, Kulu. If you ask me what is the four flower, it doesn't say about Roja, Tamarai and Malige and all. It talks about the kind of an ordinary flower which is not known. And also tells that at that time itself, there must be merchant, there must be king, there must be Rajagurus, there must be so many important people must have been in the society. It purposely tells, you want me to tell four, four uh, basic uh, people in this society, they are Panan, Parayan, Kadamban, Tudian. Purposely it tells that you want to know who is the God and if any fellow who fought for us, who tried to protect us and gave his life and became a Madhigal, who we are worshipping, and that he is the God, and we do not have a separate God on whom we will nil uhutu paravum kadavum ilave. That means, neivedhiyam, nil vandhu, neivedhiyam pannni kumbudigara, kadavul ehoviti illa yendu sangai ilakkiyam soldigara. The reason being, that is the reason I like. That means, it is a voice for the last man. The person who writes is the Mangudi Kilar. Kilar means he is a landlord. He is a landlord of the Mangudi Kilar. But he makes a voice not on behalf of the Mangudi uh, killers. So that way, suppose I am working in an elite service. My voice cannot be an elitist. 
and so uh, my voice has to be the last one this book is basically talks about the inclusiveness this book is a voice against the exclusiveness this why the book is ultimately it doesn't make a big noise i'll tell you this book actually doesn't make any claim at the end of the day it puts certain proposals tomorrow another science may come and this particular understanding may get refined or even this understanding may be changed i tell you please google for it and read it i am telling you uh, names should not be taken but i have to take the name and uh, sometimes how you start your life is not important how you end is very important i i always say that where i am born how i born how i struggle not important how i am remembered how i end my innings that is more important there is a scholar who used to be called bibi lord in 1940s he was uh, 48s he was uh, um, trained by mortimer miller and a respectable and the person who made a first statement about avichana lord uh, the findings in avichana lord are comparable with the indus valley what a important statement statement about arikemedu and that uh, the material found that wine found is the from the greek and the during the kingdom of so and so so many thing black and red were pottery very phenomenal respectable uh, uh, archaeologist sometime in 1990s and then this uh, people when they when they get old when the retirement age in yeri then they take an another kind of course and then it then they start talking something else today you must i don't want to think just to google and uh, just i felt so sad why i am taking this it is october only last month the wire magazine uh, wrote a, a kind of an article about him how his own sided uh, kind of research contributed to the spoiling of the archaeology scene in india uh, one doesn't have to be remembered that way so that's what uh, at the end of the day the book achieves anything or not it should not spread any rumor it should stand by it should have an open mind to change itself if this book is not accepted i have no problem i'm telling you when i wrote this book uh, i had no expectation i just uh, put, put this book in hand my god this much weight and then say let us print it we we'll put it in the library and uh, some day of the 5 years 10 years 20 years or 50 years somebody will start a showing interest in oh pot root okay let me study pot root one knee let me study one knee and like this and the one day somebody will say that a, a person called balakrishnan bro i never ever thought that uh, during corona within is less than 3 years it's not even 3 years three reprints have been done 6000 books have been uh, printed we are ultimately every day there is some five book uh, getting picked up from the amisa and some people are working in the roja mutia library we are very very happy about that book i don't know how to say what is in it and this book is about the inclusivism and uh, it is about the metaphor of the rain forest it is not actually trying to put a cut out for sangam literature i'm telling you i never sing the song of tamil at any caste and others caste that mean every mother is respectable every language is respectable and for that we have to go and understand the tribes of uh, africa i tell you the tribes of africa if you go to nigeria you see the yoruba tribes w o r u b a and that that people also live in some of them live in the us and they live in uh, west indies uh, they 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 moved also urban tribe i tell you the source for the ayurveda what we say is an ayurveda when you read that urban medicine and ayurveda in two hands or siddha medicine you will find out how close the human being how much of achievement and then what a metallurgy the ancient tribes have achieved in india so then how are you going to put the all the merit uh, uh, at the at the foot of somebody and then say that and forget the past so that uh, we have to celebrate the oneness of the world and the book is a humble attempt towards that uh, i i will be happy to join you uh, once in a while uh, if you even uh, start a small whatsapp group or the kind of uh, study group uh, i will be too happy uh, to clarify Uh, yes. whenever i get a time uh, even if the questions can be asked also i will be too willing to answer the questions of individual readers uh, don't attempt to read in a single uh, reading then then you will develop a fatigue uh, but do it slow and also read here and there the way you want thank you very much thank you that was a fantastic speech thank you so much and uh, this talk uh, at the core messages of this book so that we can 
uh, continue. And basically, the Sangam literature, there are so many Sangam poems in this book. I'll just like to just add one thing. Uh, Dr. Kalangir, uh, the former chief minister of uh, Tamil Nadu, used to say that uh, jackfruit, palapalam, if you want, it's the sweetest, but to get it, you need to work hard. That's that he compares Sangam literature to that. Uh, I don't want to go to the mango fruit and banana fruit, but just stay with the jackfruit. So if we work, this is not going to be easy. That is true. But if you somehow find a way to get into the book uh, and the core themes have been mentioned, you will really, really enjoy the book. And there's so much uh, that, that we can gain. And uh, we, the peace of mind, it is in a way spiritual, I would say. And I will stop here. Um, uh, in one way, uh, with your permission, I will add it. Uh, the success of, uh, I, I, am, I sometimes feel personally very fulfilled. The Nirayu thing, uh, when, I, when I travel, even now I travel to Tamil Nadu only to attend meetings because I, I don't go and spend my time other ways. If I go to Chennai or Tamil Nadu somewhere, some book fair, some meeting, some conference, or the, some kind of work related to Tamil thing and all. I'm finding nowadays the youngsters, engineers, housewives uh, coming with the children. And after the book fair, uh, nowadays when I go to a book fair, uh, ha half an hour for uh, selfie and 45 minutes for book signing. And then uh, in Trichy, uh, Trichy speech is about uh, 5 lakh 81,000 people or somebody has seen that particular speech. And this is amazing because it is not something very popular. You are, you, you are not talking something cinema or theater or serial or sports like that. You are talking Sangam literature. And people take to Sangam literature uh, this much enthusiastic, they write that where I will start, what is the Tamil book, what is the English book, I can't read in Tamil well, you suggest me a simple, simple book. I'm telling you, I'm flooded with the inquiries about the Sangam literature. I tell you, this life is worth spending. And the very fact that in each generation, if we are in the whole world, about nearly about 10 crore to 9, 10 crores of Tamilians, if we are able to create a thousand committed Tamils, in each generation, our torch bearing will happen. Because why Tamil is survived? Because that uh, somebody without any expectation, uh, the way the Aramaral team, Sundar is there, the way these people work, the way we all put our time, why we are doing that, we don't know. And then the same question you asked, at least today we have got a recognition, you and me, you know my face. But then during, during the medieval period, the person who took the copy of the Sangam literature, from the one palm leaf to another palm leaf. A palm leaf will survive only for 100 years or 150 years. How many people must have from one generation to another generation? How many copies of Tulga Piyam, Sangam literature, Kurundagai, Puranaanuru, and the Urai of Adiyar Kunalar, Nachinar Kinyar Urai? How much space it was to take and how many palm leaf? Who they wrote? Who paid them? And what is their name? And where is their photograph? Without any expectation, had they not done that work. Had the Sangam literature not printed, had, they, had, they, had we not got the Western education, is the printing technology has not come to the world, we are not here, we are not what we are. So ultimately, this is a, we are having a technology, we are having a time, we have everything. And compared with those people, we feel humbled, we are doing nothing. They did a great thing and handed over Sangam literature to us. And we have got a duty to hand over uh, the better understanding of Sangam literature. Uma. Yeah. Thank you, Balakrishnan, sir. Every time you we, we hear you speak, your enthusiasm and sincerity rubs on us, really. Thank you so much, first of all, for taking the time out today to be with us here. And thank you for this wonderful book. I know in, the, in our first session, you said it was supposed to be like an used as an encyclopedia, but then it is like it got like uh, so famous and, you know, it was not that's why it is heavy. And, you know, like I think we had such discussion in the first first round, but it's a wonderful book. And I'm sure everyone here would agree here. We are so gifted to be a part of the study group. It was such an inspiring author address to get us all started and dig deeper to find answers and treasures that are very much the need of this hour and need of the society. Thank you, Balakrishnan, sir. Um, Arasu, sir, can, could, could I please uh, request you to introduce we'll do uh, that. Sundar Ganesan, sir? So really, I uh, think a little bit of crunch of time, so I'm so happy to see all of us are still here. I think we are all part of the thousand people that Mr. Bala 
Thiru Balakrishnan was saying. So now to Thiru Sundar Ganesan, he is the director of the Roja Muthaya Research Library in, in Chennai. And he has finished the MA uh, history and he has studied uh, library and information system sciences. And he is an expert on saving the documents because without them, as uh, Thiru Balakrishnan said, uh, things will be lost. And he advises different uh, libraries and he has visited London and different countries for training as well as uh, for, for teaming up with uh, uh, others for, for uh, conferences. And he and his wife basically dedicated their entire life for Tamar. I cannot say anything else more. Please, if you have a chance, go to Chennai in Tamani. Roja Mutia Research Library is there. Please visit and do whatever, uh, find out what they're doing. And uh, and please uh, pitch in and so that become a part of that library. Actually, to Roja Mutia Research Library had an honorary consultant as uh, to Ayravada Mahadevan. We all know who he is. Uh, Ayravada Mahadevan is kind of a mentor for Thiru Balakrishnan. Uh, this book, Journey of a Civilization, uh, Industry Vaihe, has been dedicated to Thiru Ayravada Mahadevan, who was an honorary consultant to Roja Mutaya Research Library. The present honorary consultant for Roja Mutaya Research Library, as we call RMRL, is Thiru Balakrishnan IAS uh, himself. So it is really a, a pleasure and a privilege um, to invite uh, Thiru Sundar. Sorry for the wait. And uh, we are a little bit crushed for time, so about 10 minutes. Please uh, suggest us as a publisher your experiences about the book. Uh, Thiru Sundar Ganeshan. Thank you very much, sir. <clears throat> um, thank you very much for this opportunity. I would like to thank all the organizers, in fact, uh, Mr. Uh, Balaswami Nathan and, and all the participants. I'm so happy that you're going to take this journey a wonderful journey ahead. Uh, I'm sure it will be very, very fruitful, enjoyable, and uh, really thought-provoking, kindling all your interests, um, getting into, triggering so many uh, things in our life. So this book will definitely create such an impact. It, it created for me. I'm sure it will create for everyone. Um, so Mr. Arsuchalaya asked me to talk about uh, how we made this book. Two years before this book was published, that was in 2019, December. Two years before that, uh, Balasar, um, you know, gave this task to us. And uh, and I was really not sure how it will come because so that's such a huge task. It's 30 years of his work. I have worked with Ayravata Mahadevan for several years. And uh, I... This is the first time I was going to work with Mr. Balakrishnan. So in this journey, uh, I must say that um, with this guidance, the way the chapterizations have happened and uh, the way uh, the book was published was a fantastic journey for all of us at Aramaru. In the first place, you know, two things Mr. Balakrishnan said. That is, he said he should come on this particular date. And then he said it should be international quality as far as production is concerned. So that was a big challenge. I have never been part of any <laughs> publishing before. So that's, this is the first time you know, we are publishing such a uh, thing. And um, so this, I took it on to myself as a challenge. Even though I didn't show my fears outside, <laughs> I was really very scared inside. Mm, I must say that very honestly. Uh, this two years, it took two years for us to produce this book. Balasar gave all the chapters, we arranged them, we put them together, and then uh, the way it was arranged is, you know, actually Balasar actually talked about that. You know, if you have to read this book, there are many several ways to read a book, but every book has to be read from the first chapter to the last chapter. But here's a challenge. I'll ask you to read from the last chapter to the foreword. You will still... Uh, enjoy reading it but there's an also also an ideal way to do it but what i would recommend is first open the book feel the book feel the cover feel the pages see the legends first see the photographs see the images go browse through the images first and then uh, that will have a wonderful story to tell 
because each and every legend has a meaning, has a particular thread from the beginning to the end. So it will have narrated a particular story. And you can pick up a story in between and go backwards or frontwards in, in any direction. You will still not miss it. That is how this book has been constructed. Then as far as protection is concerned, you know, so much of uh, thought has gone into it. When we briefed our illustrators, our designers, we sat with them for nearly three hours discussing just the cover page. So the cover itself will uh, give a particular story because it has so many elements. There's elements like, you know, there are hills behind, would say that, you know, Tamils are hill people. Then there is this mother goddess figure, really overwhelming image. And uh, that, that powerful color, mother goddess is the central theme in South Asia. So across from uh, Pakistan, Afghanistan to Sri Lanka, mother goddess is such a, such a central thing. So we wanted that to come into this cover page. And since the title is from Indus to Vaigai, you have the Indus elements on one side, and we also have a Vaigai element on the other side, which is, you see the pot in the cover page. The pot is a Vaigai pot, which was uh, excavated uh, in Kiradi. So like that, you know, from the cover page to every other aspect, you know, um, um, if, you, if you take, let, let's say, you know, there are conventions, how to, when you read this book, uh, there, there are certain areas you may you may get stuck. So you go back to the convention and then see how you read this book. If you take a look at the conventions, then it, the reading of the book will be absolutely easy. For instance, an abbreviation or uh, um, uh, how to read the map, for instance. Map itself is an interesting thing. We have no experience with map making. We got trained ourselves in map making and then for the first time, we have used this kind of a data to produce a map with an effect of three-dimensional thing. Although it is 2D, you know, the effects is 3D. And uh, with brilliant colors, so that uh, for the reader, uh, it is, it's not just, you know, usually uh, maps are created with the yellow, blue, and some colors, some primary colors. But we have used fantastic colors in this, so that the reading becomes so beautiful. The experience is so nice. And every chapter, except two or three chapters, you know, you take, you start reading and you can't keep the uh, book. You can't close the book without completing the chapter. That's how it would be. The narrative would be like that. So, I mean, there are other things which Balasar has already talked about. And uh, Chalesar also has talked about this book. So I don't want to repeat all that again. But um, my point is, now, you can take this book from wherever and uh, end wherever. If you read just the foreword and the epilogue, uh, maybe that will be a very good beginning. Or just with your interest, let's say if you're interested in, interested in genetics, take the first chapter. If you're interested in place names, take the fifth chapter. If you're interested in knowing what is Aryan driving, go to the epilogue. And if you're interested in uh, knowing um, you know, what driving theories are all about, who pe the people who work in this field, go to the, the chapter which talks about that. And it's also constructed for people who do not have to go and refer any other book. For instance, you want to understand genetics. So the, the chapter on that will talk about everything about the haploid group and all that, mitochondrial DNA. So uh, that itself will be sufficient for the reader. Then for somebody who has not uh, any experience studying, reading uh, Sangam literature, then there's a chapter on that. It gives a wonderful introduction to Sangam literature. And uh, there are, you know, Tamil language is so beautiful that, you know, the etymologically, with so many words, for instance, the uh, word, pair, you know, we say name in English, in Tamil it is pair, just to explain this one word, and uh, which is re also related to migration. Migration is basically displacement, right? You displace from one from one place to another place. You move from one place to another place. So the Tamil word, payardal, 
It comes from where. So it's all so interconnected. And that's how, you know, for me, it was so fascinating them, you know, going into each and every word in Tamil has similar experiences. So basically, uh, what happens is some languages have grown only up to a particular stage. Some languages have grown uh, to a very large extent. Tamil language has really grown to a large extent. And there is scope for us to uh, include, translate so many things, what's happening in modern day into Tamil. Tamil offers its kind of scope. That I understood uh, only after working uh, in, in this book. So I can say I can go on uh, saying many things, but I should uh, leave you with uh, these impressions right now. Because um, already Balasar has talked, given a wonderful uh, background about this book, about the rainforest metaphor. Uh, how he conceptualized that metaphor is a very interesting thing. So he has already explained that. And uh, this book, as he rightly said, does not propagate hatred. He wanted to be extremely careful about that. This book is about compassion. This book is about diversity. This book is about pluralism. This book is inclusive. So um, that I think we should remember as human beings, after all, we're all human beings. Uh, people may speak Hindi, people may speak uh, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Bhojpuri, whatever language. After all, we're all human beings. So at the end of the day, with this humanness, this book approach, approaches uh, with that humanness. And um, as uh, sir has already talked about the multidisciplinary aspect of the book. So it is indeed multidisciplinary which you will explore as you go on. So uh, as Bala said, already said, whenever you have any doubts, if you are stuck somewhere, please do approach us and we'll be very, very happy to get back to you on those things. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thank you, Sundar Ganesan, sir, for sharing, uh, to, for giving us a glimpse on the process that went behind the book, the creation of this book. Uh, and also for your valuable uh, uh, guidance about how to approach this book and how to uh, get uh, the most out of this book. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much for taking the time out today to be here with us. Um, uh, like next, uh, we would like to, I would like to call upon the Go Gopala Krishnan, sir, to please give a brief overview of our upcoming sessions to our study group. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Uma. So I won't take much time. I know it's uh, it's already 11 o'clock for people here in Eastern time. So uh, quickly, what uh, with the guidance of uh, Bala sir and Sundar sir, um, they uh, told us to divide this into eight uh, chapters, basically. And uh, the first chapter would be about early migration, which uh, the theme, I should say, I shouldn't say chapter, but it covers chapters one, two, three, and five. And by the way, I will be sharing this through Uma to everyone. The second one uh, talks about Dravidian hypothesis and Sangam literature, which covers in which is covered in chapter four and six. And then we have High West, Low East. This is a fantastic uh, session. I mean, uh, the, the section, uh, which I think uh, Balas had presented this paper in the World Tamil Conference, which triggered uh, some of the uh, uh, initiatives that happened in this book. So that uh, is addressed in chapter eight. Then we have Pot Root, Dravidian Gujarat and Maharashtra, which is covered in chapter 9, 10 and 11. That will be week number 4. Then we have week 5, which talks about the various case studies about uh, Kongu people, Nagaratar, Vanni legend, Kannagi legend, all those uh, subjects are covered there. Then we have uh, the various games. Um, you know, any, any mature society, uh, you would see games as one of the critical things. I and mean, if, they, if they are struggling for their own day-to-day, -day, you wouldn't see such type of games being played. So there's a se exclusive section that uh, uh, that addresses that. That will be covered in chapters 15, 16, and 8. And the last two are uh, amazing chapters, the umbilical cord connections, which uh, talks about the connection between Kiladi, Adichanalu, and IVC. You know, how um, all those, uh, uh, the various uh, artifacts and how they are connected together. And then the last one talks about this metaphor that uh, Balasar talked about, rainforest metaphor, which uh, covers the intro and way forward. So those are the eight uh, weeks that we are going to uh, uh, study. Every week, starting November 11th, which is next Friday, we will have these sessions. 
I think it starts at 9 p.m. Eastern because of the change of time. Uh, we will start at 9 o'clock uh, every Friday. We'll try to wrap it up within an hour and a half. That's our intention. And then the last week alone, which is on December 20, 23rd, that'll be week seven. Week eight will not happen on December 30th because of the new year. We are going to move that to January 6th, that Friday. So just, uh, and I will share all this information through the WhatsApp group. Uh, Umar, one of us will publish all this. So you would have a clear idea on, on the various dates and, and when we are going to have the session, the timing, all that information will be shared. So hopefully that should give you all an idea on how we have structured this eight week program. I definitely would like uh, any of your friends uh, to uh, uh, register. The links have uh, been given. I think, uh, you know, we would like to have, if anyone else, uh, because I've given 200 books and quite a few of them have told me that they were interested. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have everybody's email or phone number. I just mail the books to them. So if there's any of your friends in your neighborhood or in your area, please let them know. The second one is uh, we'll try to, uh, you know, see how quickly we'll be able to uh, keep these uh, sessions. You know, 30 minutes would be like a presentation that we are planning to have uh, on that particular theme. And then followed by like a five minute, six minute uh, impression from youth. That's another thing that uh, Arsenal is working. Uh, for every week, we're going to have one of the youth leaders come and talk about what they think about that uh, particular piece. And then we'll have uh, discussion sessions. And like Balasar and Sundar have basically agreed, any questions that we have, we'll try to document all that. And whenever they are coming, we are trying to, uh, we'll include all those questions and have uh, clarifications from them to be provided to us. So that's how we are structuring it. So please register for the course. Please join the WhatsApp group, which is again, Uma has published that. Please join, so we'll exchange all the information through the WhatsApp group. And that we will send the uh, sections and the thesis details uh, in, within the next uh, day. And that should pretty much uh, cover everything that I want. Arsana, did I miss anything? Is that? Oh, uh, okay. pretty yeah. much it. And only the request is all of you, please actively participate, not just the first uh, week. Uh, as uh, uh, Gopi mentioned, excepting one week in between, I think December 30th, we're going continuously. And the next week, next uh, uh, Friday, uh, Eastern time, it's going to start at 9 p.m. instead of 9.30 because of uh, uh, day, day like the time change. Uh, so please remember that in India. So uh, United States East Coast time will be 9 p.m. from this point onwards at the subsequent Fridays. And in India, it is... Uh, Saturday morning. So if it is nine here, there will be India will be 7 30 a.m. But United States, the central time, uh, mountain time, and western time are just as usual uh, nine, from nine eastern, eight central, and uh, seven mountain, and six uh, western. So that would not be any uh, problem. So please remember that. And as Gopi said, all of us are studying this together. And please actively participate. If we internalize this, the goal is to spread to all of our. Uh, our our friends, our even uh, many of our family, our, our children are marrying and other uh, people who those who do not know Tamil, and even uh, the generations they are talking at home in English. So if they know about our Tamil heritage through this book, they themselves would want to learn Tamil and so on and so forth. So I will start here. Gopi, I have a I have a suggestion to make. Gopi, can sure, you hear sir. me? Okay. Sure, sir. Yeah. Sure, sir. Because as as I, as I told that day, uh, as the the people start reading, the questions are bound to come. So uh, even I am willing to be part of that group also, the questions are flagged. My, our style of working is basically most of the work is done while traveling in the car, in the, in the Samsung notes only, all these things are done. This entire book has been basically typed uh, first by in my laptop or my notebook, it goes like that. So it's not a big problem because these inputs are in the back of my hand. So. Uh, once that means the question bank will develop, so the doubt should be clear. So ultimately, that may result in creating an FAQ for this book. Yes. Okay. Then the, this book requires uh, some kind of uh, a guide. That means what you call some kind of uh, virtual guide. Somebody is guiding this into book. So the questions, the type of questions emerge and the answers given can be the admin. Somebody can keep it. Uh, it's a document type. so that yes. that can be edited. The questions and answers. Or even FAQ can be created. Uh, ultimately, uh, we can even come out a small, uh, some reading guide for the JOC. That would be very easier in future. Absolutely, sir. We will follow that. We will take care and we will have a designated person to capture all yeah, the yeah, that's clarifications. Right. 
share it with you, and then see if we can evolve that into an FAQ. Yeah, I'll be able to answer also. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Sundar, sir. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Gopalakrishnan, sir, and thank you, Balakrishnan, sir. So I would like to request everyone to please join the WhatsApp group. The invite, uh, the WhatsApp group invite has been sent to your all your registered email IDs. Uh, you should have got notification uh, yesterday and today. So please uh, check your emails and make sure to join the WhatsApp group. So the communication will be easier going forward. Um, now I would like to call upon Sir uh, Rahul Manohar. Please give the word of thanks. Rahul. Welcome everybody. I'm Rahul Manohar. Hope you guys can hear me well. Yes. Um, you guys have probably heard you know a lot about me through the other volunteers here. Um, first of all, I'd like to say, you know, keep it short and sweet to say thank you to IS Balakrishnan, sir, for taking the time, you know, out of his busy schedule you know, to be able to, you know, speak to us and provide us knowledge about our roots through a book that he put his life into and is very passionate about. And he's been doing, helping us since the first session, which started in the beginning of the year. And I'd also like to thank, um, you know, my co-host, who's not here uh, with me today, Advin Sundramurti, who's another uh, young adult uh, leader in the community who helped me uh, make a su successful, you know, first book study amongst all our youth. And um, I could not be here without him. And also thank you to, uh, to uh, Gopi Sar, who also helped us every week in preparing the presentations, and answering questions that we had and engaging all the students um, week by week. And um, I'd like to thank Uma Ramkumar and Uma Basant, who's not here with us today, who are major coordinators you know, to make the first, you know, session a success, you know, this year. Every week, interactive with our fun coach sessions, which we'll also be having, and, you know, taking the MC responsibilities every week, which is not an easy task. And Turu Karumanaka Vasugam, sir, who saw this program, you know, end-to-end -end and gave us guidance. You know, has, he's also the former ETA president. And um, I had the pleasure of interacting with uh, Mino Sunders, uh, daughter who was a very interactive participant and a uh, good student who helped the first ever success study group along with her other friends who joined the program. And thank you to her for also for joining the second session of this book study, you know, to be one of our uh, leaders to help this to success. And um, lastly, you know, I'd like to give a special thanks to, uh, you know, Dr. Bala Swaminathan, the current founder president. You know, Arifit Chalaya, sir, who's a former president, a uh, big active in DC Tamil Sangam, and people in the audience, such as, you know, Nanjal Peter and Dr. Prabhahan in the audience, who personally, you know, have been mentors to me and guided me and all us young adults, especially myself, you know, ever since, you know, I've been joining FENA and Sangam. And I'm um, hopefully, you know, I take the principles and their teachings and I can take it to the next Alemure, which is the next generation of Tamil Americans which will have to be in your position in leading very soon. And, you know, I wanted to, you know, end this off, you know, by saying that, you know, Balakrishnan, you know, Bala Swaminathan, uh, sir, and I.S. Balakrishnan Aya mentioned that this book study gives us evidence, you know, you know, for our own pride. And, you know, as, you know, next generation of Tamils, you know, that's what we need and that's what we like to be, you know, sticking to our roots because this book is one of the bridges that connects us to our culture. But, you know, it's very important to note that this book is not to put any other religions, ethnicities, and cultures, you know, down. Because we're all equal. And as, you know, the famous, you know, quote, you know, that Tamil's first said was, you know, Yadum Wure Yavarum Kailir, which means all land is our land and all kin is our kin. So we should all work together and, you know, respect everybody on a level of humanity. And, um, you know, Adhavan would say, who's not here today, you know, what history are we going to leave behind, you know, as Tamos being in America? You know, we can always talk about Sangam literature, what our Chola, Pandya, and Cheddar Kings did. But now, you know, it's our time to see, you know, what we can do for the future. And what legacy will we leave 
for our ancestors. What are they going to be able to talk about us? And we should be able to give a good legacy to them so, you know, they can talk about us in a good light. And, you know, we can, you know, prove through actions what we have been doing instead of talking about what happened in the past. Because, you know, now it's the time is now for us to do so. And um, this is only the uh, departure, not the arrival. You know, we have many more sessions to go and, you know, many more programs involving very similar topics. So I hope to see you all there. And uh, to thank you all very much and, you know, have a good day and have a good night. Thank you, Rahul. Um, I think that there are some questions in the chat about the book. If uh, they have to buy the book or not, Gopi sir or Arash sir, would like to take the question? We'll do that. Uh, first of all, I, I think uh, well, when Devika, she said, uh, read the chat. Uh, I just would like to quickly say I am Devika Kulasegaran, uh, District uh, Coordinator, Education Department, Rani Pet uh, District, Tamil Nadu. I find this a great uh, learning opportunity. I'm joining this from Abu Dhabi currently, and also from UK, um, uh, our friend uh, uh, Ganesh uh, is, is joined, uh, Swami Kannan, I'm sorry, Swami Kannan is joined, he is from UK, and uh, Sivakumar, uh, from his, uh, MP Siva, uh, he is joining from Chennai. So many of you who have joined, didn't have a chance to introduce, um, so, uh, Uma, can we uh, let those who are not introduced say one or two words? What do you think? Yep. Okay. Quickly, uh, if you have not you introduced have not yourself, done. what's your name? What's your, where are you from? Because it's already past time. So, but quickly, uh, if you if you are uh, willing, just name, where are you from? And the interest on this book. Swami Kandan, can you say something? Okay. Yeah, when I come, I learned to learn. Chennai learned to learn. Very good. Tamil is a new word, but I learned. Very good, very good. Very good. Very good. Third one, Wang. Where Anitta Rajesh, you guys are not very particular, are you? Tell me. Anivar Kumar, come. இது வந்து டீன் கிட்ஸ்க்கு பண்ணும் போது என்னுடைய குழந்தைங்க பண்ணும் போது நானும் வந்து கத்துப்பேன் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அப்ப நான் கத்துக்கிட்டேன் இன்னொரு முறை முறையா வந்து அடல்ஸோட கத்துக்கிறதுல வந்து எனக்கு மிக்க மகிழ்ச்சி அட்லாண்டால இருந்து நான் வந்திருக்கேன் நன்றி சொல்லுங்க ஐயா வணக்கம் என்னோட பேர் தெய்வேந்திரன் தெய்வான் சொல்லுவாங்க வணக்கம் <laughs> 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 எனது பெயர் சிவா வாஷிங்டன் முன்னாள் தலைவர் இருபத்தஞ்சு ஆண்டுகளாக அமெரிக்காவில் இருக்கிறேன் கடந்த சில மாதங்களாக தமிழ்நாட்டில் இருக்கேன் ஐயாவோட புத்தகத்தை நிறைய பார்த்திருக்கேன் கேள்விப்பட்டிருக்கேன் வாங்கிட்டேன் புத்தகத்தை புத்தகத்துல அரசனை சொல்லிட்டு இருக்காங்க தொடர்ந்து படிக்க ஆரம்பிச்சிருக்கேன் இந்த முதல் செஷன் ரொம்ப அருமையா இருந்தது வாய்ப்புக்கு மிக்க நன்றி சொல்லுங்க எனக்கு ரொம்ப மகிழ்ச்சி உங்களுடைய இந்த பெரிய விஷயத்து பாராட்டுகள் இந்த புத்தகத்தை ஒரு ஸ்டடி இதா மாற்றினதுக்கு பெரிய மகிழ்ச்சியும் நன்றியும் மற்றவங்களுக்கு என்னோட பேர் ஆசி சரவண பகன் வாஷிங்டன் டிசி நான் தற்போது தற்போதைக்கு நான் இந்த கோயம்புத்தூர்ல இருந்து கலந்து நன்றி அமெரிக்க தமிழ் கல்விக் கழகத்தினுடைய ஆலோசனை ஆலோசகர் ஐயா வந்து தமிழ்நாட்டில் அந்த மலைவாழ் மக்கள் பிள்ளைகளுடைய கல்விக்கு மிகப்பெரிய அளவில் அவங்க செஞ்சிட்டு இருக்காங்க அது நான் குறிப்பிடுவோம் நன்றிங்க ஐயா வந்தது தொடர்ந்து வாங்க வேற யாரும் இருக்காங்களா சொல்லுங்க சொல்லுங்க ஐயா வணக்கம் நான் என்னோட பேர் இறைமதியிடம் நான் 
சிங்கப்பூர்ல இருந்து அணிஞ்சு இருக்காங்க சிங்கப்பூர்ல பல தமிழ் அமைப்பு வந்து தொடர்புகளோட இருக்கேன் திரு கோபி அண்ணா எனக்கு அழைச்சு நினைவூட்டினால இன்னைக்கு இருந்த அவருக்கு நன்றி ஆர் பாலகிருஷ்ணா லண்டன்ல மாநாட்டுல எலிமின் மாநாட்டுல நேரடியா சந்திச்சு அந்த புத்தகத்தை பெற்றுக்கொண்டேன் அது எப்படி படிப்பது என்று ஒரு பெரிய மலைப்பா இருந்த நேரத்துல இந்த மாதிரி ஒரு தொடர் கற்றல் கூட்டு கூட்டு முயற்சி ரொம்ப பயனுள்ளதா இருக்கும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் அந்த வகையில ஏற்பாட்டாளர் இருக்கும் அனைவருக்கும் நன்றி எப்போதுமே நான் சொல்றது இவ்வளவு ஒரு சங்க தமிழ் படிச்சு என்ன செய்ய முடியும் அப்படிங்கிறது மிகப்பெரிய எடுத்துக்காட்டு ஐயா அவருடைய முயற்சியும் அதன் வழியில அவங்க கொண்டு வந்து கட்டமைச்சிருக்க இந்த அருமையான தமிழ் வரலாறும் அதனால இணைந்து கற்றுக்கொள்வதிலே மகிழ்ச்சி சார் ஆர் பாகன் சார் எப்பவுமே அவர் சொல்லுவாங்க கடின உழைப்புக்கு மரியாதை நீடிக்கும் கவன உழைப்பு தான் காரியம் சாதிக்குங்கிற மாதிரி அப்படிப்பட்ட ஒரு உழைப்பு தான் ஆனா இது மொத்த சமுதாயம் சேர்ந்து பெற்றுக்கொள்ள வேண்டிய அரிய போக்கிசம் இணைவதன் மகிழ்ச்சி எனக்கு <laughs> தெரியும் <laughs> அவங்க யாரும் படிக்கலன்னா வாங்கி நம்ம கொடுத்துக்கலாம் அவங்களுக்கு அப்புறமேல் கூட நம்ம ரிட்டர்ன் பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஸோ அதனால வீல் கோஆர்டினேட் சம்திங் யாருக்கும் தேவைன்னு சொல்லி பிளீஸ் ரீச் அவுட் டு அஸ் அதே மாதிரி இந்த கொஸ்டின்ஸும் சார் சொன்ன மாதிரி பிளீஸ் சென்ட் ஆல் த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் டு மை இமெயில் ஐடி ஐ வில் கன்சாலிடேட் ஆல் தட் அண்ட் தென் மேக் ஷோர் தி ரெஸ்பான்சஸ் ஆர் கார்ட் இஃப் பாசிபிள் வில் ட்ரை டு பிரிங் தம் இன் ஃபார் தோஸ் செஷன்ஸ் இஃப் தே ஹேவ் டைம் அதர்வைஸ் வில் ட்ரை டு கெட் த ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் அண்ட் கிவ் த எக்ஸ்பிளேஷன் பேக் டு பேக் டு யூ இன்னும் சில பேர் அறிமுகப்படுத்தல நம்ம கமலகர் கலைச்செழியன் தமிழ்நாட்டில் இருந்து இணைஞ்சிருக்காரு கலை சொல்லுங்க இது மாதிரி சிங்கப்பூர்ல இருந்து இணைஞ்சது பல நாடுகள்ல இருந்து இணைஞ்சது எங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப ஊக்கமா இருக்கு மகிழ்ச்சியா இருக்கு கலை அறிமுகப்படுத்திங்க ஐயா வணக்கம் அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் கலைச்செழியன் ஒரு வரலாற்று சிறப்பு மிக்க நூல் களப்பணியாளர்களுக்கு களப்பணி ஆற்றுவதற்கான கருவி நூலை ஐயா படைத்திருக்கிறார் ஐயாவுக்கு நெஞ்சார்ந்த நன்றி அரசு ஐயா அவர்கள் தொடர்ந்து படிக்கும் வாசிக்கும் குழுவில் ஏற்பாடு பண்ணது அதாவது ஒரு பெரிய கடினமான செய்தியை இலகுவாக மக்களிடம் கொண்டு செல்லக்கூடிய ஒரு வழிமுறை அந்த வழிமுறை தலைவணங்கி ஏற்கிறோம் தொடர்ந்து பயணிப்போம் அனைவருக்கும் இந்த முயற்சியை முன்னெடுத்த அனைவருக்கும் நெஞ்சார்ந்த நன்றி வாழ்த்துக்கள் வணக்கங்க நன்றி தேங்க்யூ 7:30 a.m. standard time the next day so it's number 11 and then number 12 indian time so uh, eager to see you all again uh, for a further uh, study sessions thank you everyone for the huge support that you have shown today uh, good night and have a good rest of the day yeah, everyone nandri anaivarkum nalla irukku anaivarkum vanakkam adutha velli varumvelli sandhippom magichi